Hello and welcome friends to another episode of Vintage Fountain Pens. Today I have for you a little interesting fountain pen made in America in uh, the 1950s, the early 1950s. This is a special little pen because it was produced only two years between 1950 and 1952. The name is Schaeffer Touchdown, but this isn't any touchdown. This is a Schaeffer Touchdown TM Statesman from 1950. Let's uh, begin our video with uh, a little history of the Schaeffer Fountain Pen Company. And I will begin with a model from 1916. It is the oldest fountain pen in my collection. A fountain pen made in um, hard rubber. It developed this brown patina in time. It's a lever filler and it is a sub-brand of Schaeffer called the Schaeffer Craig. You can see it has this plain design, this flat top design, and it was produced in the early 1920s. In time, the design evolved in this torpedo or cigar shape design from 1928 to 1929, and throughout the 30s, this was the trend. The design of the Schaeffer's this torpedo shape for at the beginning of 1949 Schaeffer introduced a pneumatic filling system for the top line production fountain pens practically the ink sac was um, emptied by air pressure generated by pressing a plunger the pressure was automatically released once the plunger was fully pressed, allowing the sack to fill. The system was named Touchdown. The first touchdowns were thick pens with large two-tone nibs. But in the spring of the 1950, the line became more slender and the redesigned pens were termed TM. TM stands for Thin Model. Although the touchdown was a successful line, it was produced only for a few years, two or three years, before being replaced by the snorkel line in 1952. The snorkel line is arguably the most mechanically complex fountain pen ever mass produced. It was um, a slightly lengthened touchdown, equipped with a retractable filling tube running throughout the feed which enabled the fountain pen to be filled without ever dipping the nib in an ink bottle and the snorkel model was the main Schaeffer fountain pen throughout the 1950s until 1959 when the famous um, Schaeffer pen for men appeared the infamous PFM Let's um, talk about uh, this fountain pen a little bit more. As you can see, the shape is um, common to the design trend of the 1950s. And uh, to illustrate uh, this um, trend, I have with me a famous pen from the 1950s. This is a Parker 51 with um, the famous aerometric filling system. This particular fountain pen is from the early 1950s. And I say that because of the um, specific imprints on this metallic filling bar. You can see the ending with this, uh, which is in this conical shape. I also have with me an um, iconic fountain pen from Mont Blanc, the famous master stuck on, or masterpiece 146 from uh, the beginning of uh, the 1950s, exactly approximately 1952. I also have another German fountain pen, a Pelican 140, dark green, the so-called Gruner, but I also have 
a more modern fountain pen. This particular pen was launched in 1987 and we are talking about the Pelican Sovron M800. I will uh, show them side by side. As you can see, the Sheffer Touchdown Thin Model TM Statesman is quite a thin fountain pen. Of course, I will leave the dimensions of the Sheffer Touchdown Statesman TM model on the screen. And we will talk a little bit more about this amazing fountain pen. Let's start with the wonderful color of the plastic. We have uh, here a Persian blue fountain pen. It is quite a blue light. It has this inscription on the barrel, W.A. Sheffer Pen Company, Fort Madison, Iowa, USA, made in USA. The cap is quite simple, but it has this specific band. It's quite thick band. And I think it is uh, gold plated. And also the clip, as you see it, it's gold plated. The only interesting thing is this isn't a white dot model. So it hasn't the um, warranty given by Sheffer. When I open this fountain pen, uh, you can see the cap on screws. It has this metallic part and also a transparent like amber color part of the grip and also the grip section ends in this uh, thin concave ending. The beautiful, beautiful nib, it is two-tone gold, so white gold and um, yellow gold. We have 14 carat, Sheffers, registered US patent, of made in USA. On the back we have this ebonite feed. On the next model, the snorkel model, on this part from the ebonite came the filling tube, the metallic filling tube. And I will show you pictures of that particular model. Now, I'm going to de demonstrate to you the principle of this interesting feeling mechanism. I simply turn this part, and you can see it unscrews, yes. And after that, I simply push out this part. Let me show you. I have here the Parker Quicking. We uncap the bottle. And first, I will show you outside the bottle. Okay. You simply dip the pan in ink. And after that, you simply push. this rod. I've, I don't know if you've noticed, but when I push it, you can hear a little gentle sound of the air coming out. So that is the pressure. And interesting fact, you don't feel it by uh, like a syringe like this. Instead, the fountain pen receives ink only when you push this rod here. So now the fountain pen is um, functional, so it has ink in the barrel. And we simply unscrew back the ending part. Before I ink this fountain pen, I want to tell you that uh, although it was made only for two years, the um, Touchdown TM or um, Thin model is available in um, different combinations. 
some of them have uh, uh, conical nibs, uh, some of them have um, two-toned nibs, and some of them have um, the white dot, and some of them have um, thicker or thinner gold cap bands. Like I told you, this is a statesman, and um, now we are um, ready for the writing sample. So we turn the this part, make it here, and insert in the, the ink. You saw the bubbles. This is a good thing. It means that the ink was drawn. Okay, let's leave aside the ink bottle, but remember, always cap your ink bottle to avoid little accidents. Of course, the cap posts, but um, I don't like to post this fountain pen. I want you to see that in time, this plastic um, developed lots of micro scratches. And I hope they are visible on the screen. Yes, you can see the micro scratches. And... Um, let us focus on the paper and see how this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen writes. So we have a Sheffer Touchdown TM Thin Model and this is a Statesman. It was produced between 1950 in 1952 so for quite a short period of time which makes it um, a rare piece but of course it was mass produced by the Americans in a booming period after the World War II so um, I think they made this fountain pen in uh, millions by the millions although it was produced for only two years uh, okay, this is made in um, USA. We have a beautiful 14 carat two tone nib. It is um, quite a stiff nib, as you can see. No flex to it, and um, you can you can call it. Um, fairly wet writer it has a nice feedback on the paper not a scratchy um, I believe this is an F or even EF nib it writes quite um, thin on the paper so um, this was my fountain pen review with this beautiful, beautiful Sheffer fountain pen. As um, always, I wish you to have a nice day. If you've enjoyed this uh, small review, please support my activity by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.